guys, it's Terry. How's everybody doing today? Um, I wanted to tell you guys something that happened um, yesterday, actually. And <clears throat> I don't know how to handle the situation. So the girls go to, the twins, they go to a church daycare. Um, we are not members of this church. We've gone a few times, but we don't really go to, we're not members of really any church. We, we go to different ones that we, you know, Christmas, things like that. But anyway. So they go to this daycare, and they go full time. And some days Brandon works, you know, till or uh, starts working at 11:30. But so he'll keep the kids. Well, they had told him a few times, "Hey, nine o'clock. School starts at nine o'clock. School starts at nine o'clock." They're two, okay. And if you know me, you know I'm a huge advocate of school. School is very important, very important. But they're two. So Brandon works at 9.30, so he usually gets them there between 9 and 9.15. There's been no problems. The well, last two days, I was able to take them, and so I got there about 9.20 on Monday, and then yesterday I didn't get there till 9.30. And the teacher says, how was the morning? The morning was fine. Why? Well, I noticed you're coming later and later. You know our policy is 9 o'clock. Okay. What's the big deal? They're two. I'm paying for the daycare. If I want to drop them off later, why can't I? You know, and, and I'm really good. If they're not going to be there, I tell them they're not going to be there. They're not going to be there. Or, you know, if we're running like 11, 12 o'clock, I'm like, hey, I'm going to bring them in later. We're doing this or that, and so on and so forth. So she says to me, well, as they get older, it's very important they understand structure. I get that. Understood. I got it. But in the three and four year class, circle time starts at nine o'clock. They're not in the three and four class, they're in the two year class. They don't go to the three, four class until March. So again, what does it matter? Oh, well when they get here and then we go straight outside at 9.30, they get confused. What kids are getting confused to go outside at 9.30? I don't care they walk in at 9.28. They're still going to want to go outside. They're not like, oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't get my morning snack. They just ate it at home. Of course, they're fine. So I'm trying to be nice about it. Patience. Take a deep breath. So I did. And I said, we really try to get them here by 9. Some mornings it doesn't work out that way. Some mornings I can stay home with them. Why would you not encourage a parent to stay with their child if they could longer? Why would you discourage that for a two-year-old? I get they're in kindergarten, first grade, and they're going through school. They ask us how important it is. There's a time schedule. They need to be. I, I get all of that. Totally get it. They're two. I really don't think they come home and go, gosh, Mom, I miss circle time. I'm so upset, and my whole day is just messed up. I don't think that really happens at the age of two. So I'm mad. <clears throat> and I call Brandon, and I'm like, oh, heck no. So I just straight up ask the teacher, do I need to find their daycare? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what we're saying. What we're saying is they need to be here at 9. What I'm saying is I'll get them there when I get them there. I'm paying the daycare bill. I tell you when they're not going to be here. And by the way, they're, I pay whether they're there or not. So what do you care if they come at 9, 9.30, 9.45? I understand if it's during nap time. I get that. If it's during snack time, I may even get that. But circle time where you guys come together and just talk for a few minutes before you go outside, that's not going to stress out my two-year-olds. They're going to be fine. Because you're talking and they're not hearing you. They don't know what's going on. They're like, oh, okay, mom. Or, okay, miss, I'm not going to say her name. Whatever. Are we going outside yet? That's all they know is they're going outside. So, with that being said, comment. Am I overreacting? Is it? should I be there at nine? And I did read it and it says, we appreciate your child being here by nine. Doesn't say it's policy, doesn't say it's a requirement. It says we appreciate your child being here at nine. I've seen other kids going at other times too. Do they lecture them and they lecture me? So I don't know if I just had a bad day and she caught me off guard, but it really upset me. I'm paying you to watch my child. And if they're not gonna be here, I tell you, I'll drop them when I want to drop them. I'll drop them to take a home, take a nap. No, I don't really do that, honestly. If I'm home, I usually have my kids, or if I have nothing going on, I have my kids. But even still, comment below. Let me know. Are you? Am I 
overreacting to this? Is it something that's normal? Is it something that I, I need to find another daycare possibly? Are they being a little too overwhelming with it? I mean, come on, really? Anyway, have a great day. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna discuss math again. Yay, my favorite subject, pre-algebra. Bye.